Hello everybody and welcome for another draft. Uh, this pack is fine though not super exciting. Uh, Renessa's last stand has been... <sighs> I don't know. Sometimes it's good, sometimes it's medium. It's obviously quite atrocious against Unsummon. Winds of Rebuke uh, and, and whatnot. There's also the blue one, the blue black one, uh, consigned to Oblivion. Uh, not good against Bounce Spell. Pretty good otherwise. Doom Falls, medium. Merciless Eternal has been pretty disappointing, I believe. I haven't been very impressed with that. Chef and Dude, fine card. Not super exciting to first pick though. Don't have to even pretty good if you are white, red, aggro, or you know any deck with enough a little bit of exerter is should be good in it. And all the other common are, are quite a bit weaker. Um, yeah, I don't know. I think it's between the last ten and the even, most likely. I'm gonna always stand. Uh, I'm gonna play more, a bit more of that card, see see if it's really good or not. Uh, I've played, I actually played with it a decent amount. Like, I've had it, I've had a deck with two of these where I've played, I think, all three matches. Uh, I've had it in two other deck. It, it's been like, it's been fine, but I haven't been super impressed. At the end of the day, you are still paying four mana for your five four, even though it can start attacking earlier. Much easier peak here. Sifter Worm is by far the best card here. Uh, Vizier of the Anointed, pretty good too, but I think weaker than the Worm. Also, we already have a green card, so. Uh, I don't really mind playing last ten in a re in, in a green ram deck either. Actually, I think the trap I've might fallen into often is that after picking uh, last ten, I thought I would want to get aggressive. Actually, that card is perfectly fine in a in, in a ram deck, especially when you can get your mana off of non land uh, permanent, and then the drawback is uh, a lot less uh, problematic. Um, and you know, sometimes we will just play it on turn two, and it will randomly uh, win the game. All right, fairly easy. Other ritualist plays very well with Sifter the Worm. Very good queen card. Lethal Sting is good too, but I don't think you should ever pick pick it of a ritualist at this point of of the draft. Hollow One has been pretty good for me. Like a four four for five is kind of decent. Sometimes you get to cycle desert and just play it, so you kind of get. A, a little bit of discount value, you can always tackle it. Obviously at its best in blue-black, I've played it on turn 3 already. But it's, you know, it's fine. It's, it's, it's just like, since it's colorless, you can put it in any deck, I think it's a little bit undervalued. It's just not amazing, but it's almost always gonna make you the cut, and it's colorless, so... Cannot really go wrong. Avenger very strong, but... I think we are not doing that today, so... We'll just ramp it up, I guess. Uh, I like when two of my th three first pick are Ritual and Sister Worm. Okay, that's a four speak Desert's Hold somehow. And we are seeing more Avenger. I guess white is, is open for sure. We are not going to be the white aggressive deck though. Quarry Beetle, in my experience, is kind of a worse Colossopede, and Colossopede is pretty much a feeler. It's fine, but not insane. I do like Feral Prowler in my green ram deck that are pretty defensive, but this is definitely Desert Holes that we could just splash for if we don't get more white, but we might also play some more white. It's really a card I don't mind splashing for though. Interesting choice here. Uh, yeah, pretty interesting pack overall. I don't think we are picking a desert, though both Survivors and Command and Desert of the Glorified could be interesting. I <laughs> Angel of the Godfather is pretty good, it's also decent ramp into, and we have a white card. I'm not sure it's the pick, though. I I kind of feel like, again, there's a pretty good chance we end up in three colors, maybe splashing for Desert Hold or for Lethal Sting. So it could be a thing. Another pick would just, you know, to be could just be Feral Prowler, just the, the defensive two drop. I think it's a little bit too... Uh, how do you say that? It's a little bit too, um, uh, yeah, I don't know how to say it. I, I think you can get a little bit more greedy than just picking the Prowler here. It's a little bit too conservative, that's what I'm trying to say. I think I'm just going to go with Sting, which I do like quite a bit in in the in the Green Ram decks. Here it's going to be Desert of the True for sure. 
Yeah, nothing else. Here it's gonna be Desert of the Indomitable. I think the Cycling Deserts are gonna be better than Chef at Dune in a Green Ram deck. Ooh, Farm to Market is great in a green slash white Ram deck. Okay, we are seeing more white. Maybe I was supposed to pick the Angel, but even if we end up pretty heavy on white, uh, splashing for the Sting is gonna be really easy. And again, that card is just great in, in this deck. Like, you really wanna stack as many uh, removal as you can, then the ramp, and if you can, a bit of card advantage, and of course a couple finishers. I like this start though, two two cycling deserts, three good removal, a ritualist, a worm, and you know a last end just for a good measure. Cannot really go wrong with the big snake. I mean, yeah, it, it can definitely go wrong against bounce spell, but. It can't go... In most matchup is going to be pretty pretty decent. Yeah. And sometimes you will get to just mark it off of your Reacher list later on. It's just amazing. Discarding two land when you are a little bit... When you have enough mana with, with your Ram deck and drawing some more fuel is, is just great. I do love that card in, in the Ram deck. It seems like very easy beneath the sand. Decent, decent ramp spell fixer, and uh, psych, you can cycle it in the later game. Interesting. Deserts of the True or even of Entering Hope. It's pretty close. It is somewhat close. Um, I think the cycling desert in the ramp deck is just huge because at some point. Because you want to play your full 7th land, but you'll have a decent of cards that already produces mana, so you might just get flooded and being able to cycle is huge. Ah, it's close. It might have been the even. It's, it's pretty close. There's a small chance we play that though. Ooh, Prowler Wield. Amazing. Yeah, Dutiful Servant. Who knows? Hopefully not, but it's gonna make the cut. Okay, well, I like this start. Uh, yeah, Desert of the True versus the the Avon was really close though because Avon is kinda good in, in those in, in those RAM deck. Hour of Devastation, we are picking that. We are picking that. Not because it's worth money, it's not even worth that match, I believe. It's probably you know three, four ticks. Uh, but I guess struggle survive and farm market would be great too, but this is amazing. And we'll probably be just red base red green Splashing for maybe a bit of white, maybe a bit of black, but you want those sweepers in, in the ram deck. They, they just make the deck so much better. A braid. Great full up. Again, it's not even for the money. <laughs> the card is just great. And again, I think we'll just be base red green. I always very often end up base red green or green black anyway when, when I play ramp. And then I really don't mind splashing for a couple of white cream wall, maybe the sting too. We, we shall see. Cool. We did not see a lot of red. We did not see any red, in fact, pack two, uh, pack one. Sorry, but this means that we should get some red now, uh, and we don't actually care about getting a lot of red. Like, it's kind of whatever to us. We are happy with Hour of Devastation. Having a sweeper in the deck is amazing, and then even if it's only for a braid and Hour, I'm really fine putting a decent amount of red in my deck just for these. And all the other uh, removal spells we have are easily splashable. Splashing for two as a color might be tough unless we do end up getting a bunch of mana leaf, so I don't know about that. Ooh, Kefnet Last Word. That card is pretty sick. There's also Ombuscade though, which is much safer. And Wall of Forgotten Pharaohs would actually be great in sec. I would love picking that. It's definitely between Ombuscade and Kefnet's Last Word. Picking last word is strong, it's really greedy though. Right now, we already have two other colors we want to splash for. We only have one ritualist. I think it's just too greedy, I think it's just uh, the Ombuscade. Let's not get too crazy. I think I do like Beneath the Sand more than Traveler's Amulet. It's kinda close though, I guess the... You know, the first one I would pick the always the Beneath the Sand if I'm green. 
The second one, uh, maybe if you already have one Venus Descent, you might just want to pick the Amulet, just make your curve a little bit more smoother and makes less likely that you're stuck on two land with Venus Descent in hand, which is not that likely because of cycling, but you know, or I, I guess with one land, if anything. I think I'm gonna go with Amulet here. This is not really a deck for Frilts and Walla. We are pretty happy to pick Hash Up Oasis, though. There's a Mana List, too, though. And when, if you want to be splashing for more than uh, one color, Mana List is really nice. It, it's also one of these cards that really helps with the farm market thing. I kind of want one. I think I might just get another one, though. I'm going to get be a bit greedy, pick the, the Oasis. Here we get another Desert, I guess, which is fine. Might just not end up splashing for the sting. At which point, Angel of the God Pharaoh would probably be better because even if though it's double white, we could use some more finisher and you can always cycle it. So this pick might end up being a little bit costly. However, I did obviously not know that I, you know that that I, uh, I, uh, <laughs> I was going to open Hour of Devastation and and be wanting to to play red as my second main color. Red is really not open though. <laughs> we passed no red, so we got past in a braid, and then really not match. But you know, Hour of Devastation is pretty insane. Maybe if we really, really don't see any more red, there's a chance we don't end up playing Hour of Devastation. Seems unlikely. Ooh, another farm market. Love that. And another amulet. Sure. And another brawler, cool. All right. With a second farm market, I kind of want a blue source in my deck. We can probably afford to play one island, one plains. I don't think we'll play the sting. I think it's. I, I think we have enough removal. We don't even have a ton of of creature to put the counter on. I guess we have two brawler. I guess. It's probably a bit too greedy though, because we kind of want the, a little bit of blue for the market. I, I think, I think <laughs> we need more, a little bit more finisher though, because one sifter worm plus three random creature is not going to do the, you know, the, the job. So more finisher. We are pretty good on removal, like with two far market, a desert sold, an ambuscade, a braid, an hour of devastation. We don't need more uh, finisher really. I don't really think we need more amp. We could use another ritualist, but I think the second Venus Ascent is going to be fine. We don't really need more fixing either. We mostly need finisher at this point and, you know, fill up the curve with mostly creatures, I guess. Solitary Camel is actually kind of appealing in this deck. I actually like it more than Venus Descent. We have five desert. We might get some more. It's a very good defensive creature that's good against aggressive deck. Uh, we got an Aven, which is cool. Don't think we'll play the wins, but who knows? That was a fairly firebrand archer, actually, especially given that red has been kind of cut off. So we are like we are looking really good at removal, which is nice. Probably don't need more though. I guess you cannot really have too much removal. I mean, it's tough if anything. Fixing looks pretty good. So yeah, we mostly need um. We mostly need some creatures to fill the curve. Uh, getting the camel and the Aven pretty late was nice. These uh, these are decent creatures that can you know beat down and win while helping you defeating aggressive deck pretty nicely. I'm really happy that we have two prowlers. Those two drops are essential to to the curve. Okay, that 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 qualifies as a finisher. <laughs> Cool. I would love to pick Scale Beach Moss, Cartridge of Strength, uh, Compulsory Rest. Like, the good news is that we are probably actually willing something. Like, there's so many things that I want. Greater Sandworms. There's like one, two, three, four, five cards I'd be really happy to, ha to add to my deck. No, I guess four, not counting the Warrior. 
and warrior plus elite plus color speed three as a card that I'd be fine, you know, that would be good playable, so. Damn. The reward. The reward. And being a little bit light on win condition when you have a sandworm convergence is a lot less problematic. Because if you end up with a sifter worm and uh you know a greater sandworm, well maybe they have two removal and then yeah, I don't know, it's not that it's not, not going to be that easy to just kill them with uh, a, a camel and, and two cats. So, Sandworm Convergence is really nice here. Definitely going to pick Electrify here. Okay, well, no more removal. I think we are really good. <laughs> spider is decent. Yeah, Spider is fine. I don't think we want any other thing again. This is a reinvol, but we don't really like when you have too far market. You don't really want impeccable timing. Curve is actually quite impressive, quite good. I mean, th these are not really six drop, I guess, but uh, th this looks good. This looks good. This looks good. Um, yeah, another two drop would be good. Like. Um, a 2 mana 1-2 that produces mana would be perfect. Some random 2 drop could be fine too. The, the Hour of Devastation is almost clunky, but I really feel like we want that. Uh, have a little bit more red in the deck, make sure we can cast that, because it's going to be so good. Trial Seal. Red might be a little more open than I thought it was, I don't know. We have a lot of reinvolve, but honestly, I would be a little worried without the Sandworm Convergence. I think Convergence gives you such a strong win condition that's tough to deal with, that it's not a big deal to be super heavy on reinvolve and very light on win condition. I would be quite a bit worried if it was just, you know, a random worm. I guess Kill Behemoth, if you have a lot of reinvolve, is actually another fine win condition because it's very tough to deal with. The cool thing here is that we can play probably 17 lands plus 2 amulet, a Binis Descent and a Ritualist and still be, you know, not that likely to completely flood out because we have 4 deserts that can cycle. We got another Behemoth, that's, that's lovely. True Heart Duelist is decent to draw, pretty defensive. We got enough white card that at this point we'll play quite a bit of white no matter what, so... Because you don't really want to be splashing for two drop creature in general. That's what I was thinking about. The mana base is going to be a little bit greedy, but I think we should be able to to make it work. We never need more than one white. We only need double red for a Hour of Devastation. We'll probably have to make the mana base in a way where casting Hour is going to be a little bit tricky. Unfortunately, because we need enough white and green early on. So, yeah, it should be pretty much an even split between white and green, I, I, I imagine. Uh, between white and red, and we want more green, so we'll see. But mana base might be a bit, uh, a bit tricky. However, with two amulet, I don't feel too bad. Uh, there's a small chance I play Desert Sarodan. I will not play two of these though. And I will play Colossopede. Jeez. <laughs> Only Colossopede will. That, that means that six people took white and or green cards. Feels bad, man. Uh, Blazing Volley is a decent cyber option, though I don't think we'll need it. Same with timing. Shepard. Eh. Probably not. I'm pretty sure this is going to be the main deck. I'm going to check the side one more time, but... Yeah, we want as much white as green. We have one double red spell. I mean, as much white as red. We have one double red, but we need the white a little bit earlier.
Okay, I like this deck. I like this deck quite a lot. And again, I think even though we are very light on wind condition, since one of them is Scalable Himos and the other one is Sandworm Convergence, I think we'll get to get what we want. And we really have enough free roll to stall the game to the point where we win with those. Cool. Yeah, there's a couple six drop that cycle we could play. I don't think it's really necessary or good enough. Happy with the curve. I think I'm just gonna play that. Now colors. So yeah, we want pretty much the same white and red in the deck. Uh, as is, we probably need five more green which would make it 10 with the amulet, maybe a little bit less, but 5 would be kind of good. Kind of like having the one island with the two farm market, I really kind of like that. So if we can the amulet, this would be a 10, 6, 6, 3, I mean we don't really care about island, but 10, 6, 6 mana base. That sounds about right. Cool. Alright, Naya Ramp for you guys. Uh, hope you enjoyed the draft. Drop a like if it's the case. Thank you for watching and see you for round one.